Hello there everybody. Today I'm here to show off my butterfly. Some of you may be aware of the morpho butterflies, which are iridescent types of butterflies mainly found in South America. This is a member of that genus. It is the morpho polyphemus. But maybe you'll notice that this species is not blue, but white. And what's interesting is, despite that, it's still sort of iridescent. If you look really closely, you'll see some kind of glossy, glossy, shiny layer over its wings. And that's interesting because, well, I've seen a lot of iridescent types of butterflies in my lifetime. But you rarely see species that are white and iridescent. It's really nice. Some of you may know the mother of pearl butterfly, Protogonium morphia parnassus, for example. It's another famous example of a butterfly that's both iridescent and white. Still, it's an unusual combination. Now, if you're wondering why my fingers are bothering it like this, because if I don't touch it, it will not really show its colors that often. See? Now I stop touching it and now it just will settle down and stop moving. So just in order to show all of you its awesome colors, I gotta annoy it a little bit. Otherwise, uh, they lay eggs on plants on the, from the clover family, Fabacea. And in South America, this is usually Inga. Inga is, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's, genus of tropical plants, but maybe they will also lay eggs on mucuna and other plants. Take a look at its eyes there. It's also kind of kind of interesting to see. Oops, it moved. Sorry. And what's interesting is, well, hmm, its proboscis doesn't seem to be completely as it should be. Maybe I should help fix that. It's not properly curled up. But its eyes are nice and emerald green. Its body is white. Its legs are also white. In fact, most of this creature is completely white. So, if you love white species, then this should be the video for you. Okay, so I'm. what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab it very gently for a few seconds just to show you its iridescence will this stress the butterfly to be honest yes it will a little bit but i'm doing this just to show you this effect here which is completely brilliant it's like a living pearl so it does not bother or harm the butterfly in case you were wondering i am not damaging it although it's gonna be stressed a little bit but I think this is okay just for one video. Otherwise I'm gonna treat it nicely and give it some fruit juice. See if we can help that proboscis here. Thanks for watching. This was Bart Coppens with the Morpho Polyphemus. Stay tuned. Oh, and by the way, thanks for all the video ideas all of you uh, have sent to me in the comments. I am going to work on some of the ideas that some users have... Uh, well, basically submit it to me. Thanks for watching. Until next time.